Yo, what's up team? Your boy J3 is back in the building. I got a special guest for y'all tonight. I'm Ronan Joe Genji, Cyborgpedia. Triple, what's up bro? We up in the back in the building guys. Technically we didn't go anywhere. Facts. We just, uh, we got something to eat and we gotta continue this on. That's we on it, episode man. seven, yo. Episode six on. was phenomenal. It was. Episode five was dope. Four, three, two, and one. This is a freaking dope web series. I think it should be on something better than a web series, like network television, maybe. Yeah. Maybe even cable. It just needs to be seen in a broader audience, bro. This is beyond YouTube. It's just it's consistent and uh, it keeps growing every episode. <sighs> something to come back to. Uh, We'll constantly have things to say about it. It's just, it's enlightening. It's enli it's a light at the end of the tunnel, man. It's powerful. At like this it. point, I'm looking for a bad episode. Yeah. Like, what they gonna give me? What's, what's, what's a bad episode? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah. Let's go ahead and watch Cobra Kai Episode 7, All Valley. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sounds like some Valley High, bro. Here we go, dude. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> it's happening. He's training him secretly. That's tight. Look at that. <laughs> That's legit, bro. Sand the floor. Uh oh. Back to basics. Sand the oh, floor. Oh, it just feels so warm. You know what I mean? Mr. Miyagi's teaching is still going still on, going. bro. The love of cars and cleaning. You but put it, it going, all together. But is it going in the right hands? That's another question. There you go. Yeah. Oh, bro. What a thing. Oh, they man. Why are you going to give me goosebumps already? I wanted to put some Porsches up here. <laughs> Mr. LaRusso, uh, I'm all done. Really? Both lots? Mm. They played. Oh! <laughs> I thought you were going to teach me karate. I'm just doing all your shitty chores. Sounds just like him, bro. I love this part. I think part. you're enjoying this a little too much. God, I love this part. <laughs> oh, Show dude, me I'm getting these windows. windows. Show me wax oh. on, wax off. Oh my gosh. It's this is tight, G. <laughs> Get it, Daniel. I'm about to cry, bro. Damn. This is tight. That's the intro. Subtle, but simple. I don't want to watch nothing else, man. <laughs> Dang, this is dope, bro. I told you. Well, there's a girl at school. She hot? Huh? And she's super smart. Huh? Funny and cool. Hot? Yes, she's hot, super hot. Nice. I think you really like her. She likes karate, and I mean, I want to ask her out, but I just don't know. Don't know. What's there to think about? She's hot and all those other things. <laughs> like, yeah, but what if she says no? Never accept defeat, Diaz. There is no no. Pretty sure no means no. Yeah, if things are getting physical, no means no. But if you're just asking her out, you're a Cobra Kai. All the babes want to date a Cobra Kai. Right? Yeah. Are we entering this tournament? I don't think we're ready yet. Oh! He's okay. I'm okay. Oh, oh, the hawk, man. Do you want to go out on a date with me? Oh. Hmm. Um, I think that's really sweet. I mean, I would like to. With everything that happened with Kyler, I'm kind of taking a break from dating right now. Yeah, no, I, I get it. But I'll see you in class? Yeah. Perfect, okay. See you in class. 
round two. Never defeat. accept defeat. Type. <laughs> Game. What if it's not a date? What if it's just two people hanging out at the same place, having fun separately but <laughs> together? Go. Sounds like a date. Really? It would. It wouldn't be a date. If it's not a date, then I guess it sounds like it could be fun. Great. Hey, shout out to Miguel, bro. <laughs> what about tonight? <laughs> Picking up a date. Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. I have a mic. Uh, okay. Then I'll pick you up. Okay. Oh, hey. Player. Hey. <laughs> shout out to Miguel. We all got to start somewhere. He still got it, though. That's right. Where the hell is he at? I don't know. I'm right here. Hey, don't be sneaking up on me like that, man. It's good, man. What's up, bro? You got the code? Yeah, I got it. Hmm. I told you my boy would come through. Hmm. What are you waiting on, man? Let's do it. Where's the code? I can't. You can't what? Remember the code? Sorry, I mean I won't. I always get those two confused. Ravi, hmm. Ravi, come on, man. Don't do this. Just open the goddamn door. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> nice. Looking like Sean from Boy Meets World. It's really gonna make me have to do <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Uh oh! I got powers. What, did your boy teach you some karate or something? Uh oh! <laughs> Defense mode. That that fluidness, like this is real. Shields right now. Oh, Rick, you sucked the wrong one. You good? You Nowhere to hide. Die. Got him. You better watch your ass. You better watch your ass. <laughs> That's, like That's the worst acting in this whole show I've seen. You better watch your ass. Okay, you ready? Alright, ready. Looking like a strong out. Uh, 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 uh. uh, uh. <laughs> You're a Lakers. It'll come to you. Yeah, my family said, see the chicken since I was little, like, right in half. What you got? <laughs> you know, You're like a strong out Casey, Casey Jones. Jones. You better watch your <laughs> ass. <laughs> Freak! Well, you know, sometimes I use my season tickets to business, oh, too. Oh, man. It's Entertaining tight. clients, stealing the deal. It's all really expensive. Aw, oh, shot to Miguel. He got the girl quick. He didn't waste no time. Cobra Kai. Thanks. Oh my god! Look at that picture! Danville to the Royal Valley Committee of 1985 issue a lifetime ban on Cobra Kai. Look, the picture in Jack. And unsportsmanlike conduct shown by Sensei's Terry Silver, John Kreese, Terry and Silver. student Mike Barnes. Well, there you have it. I'm sorry we wasted your time, Mr. Lawrence, but a lifetime ban is a lifetime ban. Well, hold on. Let's hear what the man has to say. Mr. Lawrence, what is your relationship to this Terry Silver? Ma'am, I have no idea who that even is. I'm just a small business owner trying to make a living. Oh, please. It's, ask him about John Kreese. John Kreese is dead. We're very sorry for your loss. Say, give me a break. Daniel, show a little respect. Respect? Are you kidding me, Sue? You don't know the history here. John Kreese and Cobra Kai were the embodiment of everything this tournament stands against. And this guy, Johnny Lawrence, he was a star pupil. He was the worst of them all. He'd be dishonoring the entire sport. See, that doesn't fall. That, that's, why is he so much hate towards him? Because remember, he said, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Look, I admit Cobra Kai had its share of problems in the 80s. My sensei didn't always play by the rules. That's why I left. But my Cobra Kai is different. It's a place where kids can come and feel like they belong. Where they won't get picked on just because they're a bunch of losers. But because they're unique. <laughs> I've watched I like firsthand that. as my students have gotten Clever. stronger, gained confidence, learned how to stand up for themselves. 
Cobra Kai is making a difference in these kids' He's lives. He's not lying. He is not lying. Saying? They're making a difference in mine as well. There it is. Everybody's winning. I feel like crying, you. bro. You wasn't here. <laughs> that, that, real. That, real. That, that introduction got me, bro. All right, so. That was that touching, man. For a dojo, by the way. <laughs> I think I speak for that, all It was the music, y'all. was the music. The community could use more men like you, Mr. Lawrence. Uh, uh, Thank you. Play uh, right, This is horse shit. This guy was the <laughs> biggest Russell. bully in my high school, and he hasn't changed at all. I could prove it. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Lawrence. I don't know you, but I do know Daniel LaRusso, and if he says no, I'm with him. Thank you, George. It seems the only fair solution is to put this to a vote. Woo! Tight. You know the brother gonna vote. <laughs> Do you mind waiting outside while we cast our ballots? Not at all. That's right. Thank you all for your careful consideration. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wait outside, right? Okay, guys, this sob story. I mean, you were not there. So. Mm -hmm. Senior Octopus would so like to know hard. if yeah. you are better at karate, karate. than you are at mini golf. Hmm. Okay, I didn't realize the octopus was Hispanic now, but uh, why don't you tell Senor Octopus that um, my sensei says I'm the best student in his class. Really? Mm -hmm. Best in his class? Yeah. You don't believe me? No. Yeah, no, 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 no. I didn't say that. Now you need to take one Stand of these. Up. <laughs> okay. All right, here's what we're going to do. Get into like a general fighting position. Just, mm -hmm. yeah, leg out, oh, okay. right okay. now, arm out. Then you want that or not? Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. She's and good. She acts like she don't know. You wanna put your hands on my hips? Uh, no. No, I'm correcting your stance. Look. It's really hard. <laughs> if you don't get it on the first time, you don't feel back. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Sensei Sam. Tight. Tight. Oh, oh, this is oh, hot. Oh, oh. Hey. You know, they this grown, thing right? Uh oh. They grow, right? Uh oh. Because technically, this isn't a date. Self defense, y'all. Right. Not a date. This is hot. I'm taking it back to basics. <laughs> oh my god, she's so aggressive. <laughs> Self defense. Self D. Keyword. Oh my gosh, I love and it. That was not a kiss. Back to basics. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Blood start flowing other places. Sorry, Joe. I know you're here, but. <laughs> oh, shoot. Man, I don't know if I can lick my fingers. Johnny. Mm. You can. Oh, it's the best part. Good stuff for real, man. Uh oh, Jesus juice. Oh, oh. Drink it or put hair in your balls. Is that a good thing? Yeah, that's a good yeah. thing. Okay. It's a Cobra Kai. Never accept defeat. Dang, this episode was powerful, bro. Epic all around. A lot of achievement. Yo. That's how you do it, yo. Oh my gosh. Let's just go ahead and just. Man. I, look. A lot that, of accomplishment. This is all accomplishments in this episode. Fire. What an amazing beginning. Hands down. Oh, the montage without being a montage? Yeah, yeah, that was that was great. Shout out to Miyagi. It felt so real, so organic, bruh. It gave me chills, and then they played the music, the, the themes in the background, yo. And then you saw the foreshadowing with Robbie. When am I gonna learn karate? Daniel. Oh, this is my favorite part. I love this part. Because he went through the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, all right, now I'm gonna show him. And you know, the crazy thing is, epic. I love the fact that, you know, I, I was a little skeptical about his wife in the beginning of the show. I'm like, what kind of woman is this? Stuff. Yeah. But she seems like Johnny, uh, 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 Daniel was like that to him, her too, to a degree. You know what I mean? And she knows him. Yeah. So she's kind of like, okay, I see a lot of Daniel in him too. So she knows to just let it go. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And because she brought him in. Yeah. And she brought him in because she saw something in him. Right. Potential. Which was the same as the. It's, it's, it's like everybody. What a great show. I can't. That beginning almost had me tearing up, bruh. This was an emotional episode, man. You know, 
I ain't holding my tears back no more, bro. Don't. I'm not. I'm no. not. I already seen it, so I'm, I, I'm not. I'm what holding. you said, I felt. I already, uh, already did it. It just, I'm, I didn't have a camera to show it, bro. I got it. like, hey. I just wanted to cry, like, out of joy for these characters. The, the last two episodes for me was emotional when they did the tribute to Miyagi, man. That that I'm, whole montage, him at the, up, he's at bro. the grave, just spilling his guts. Saying how he felt was like, man, I wish he was still here and all that. But he's bike. still carrying on that legacy, still carrying on what he gave him. And you know what's all that was hard. You know what's beautiful about this whole legacy that Mr. Miyagi has started, and even even uh, uh, Cobra Kai. And I'm gonna say that as a as a dojo instead of just crease. You know what I mean? Yeah. These men have learned so much from this this idea. You know what I mean? Karate, but learning how to fight but not fight, but the morals and morality behind it. Yeah. You have strike first, never never uh, uh, accept defeat. Yeah. Then you have the Mr. Miyagi way, which is technically the same. Right. But it's just... Less aggressive. It's less aggressive. Yeah, it's more defense. It anything. reminds me a lot about, and, and I think my connection with it, because I'm not a martial artist or anything like that, but when you see it, it's like it really reminds me of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. Wow, well, that's a good paradox right there. Yeah, it's yeah. like I, see, I know what you mean. One was that. more stern, right. firm, manly with it, like bruh, gotta end it. We gotta do it. And then you had one man, man uh, one way was like turn the other cheek. There's other ways around it. Peacekeeper. But if you get out of line, yeah. then I'm gonna have to check you. Right. One was like, wow, I'm not gonna give you the opportunity to for me to check you. I'm finna just do it now. Right. Right. Yeah. And sometimes that's not always the right way. But apparently it looks like to be the right way because for these kids, they don't have time to turn the other cheek. Right. They've been turning the, whole, the, 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 the other cheek their whole life. Because life is so fast paced now. Exactly. We're in modern times, so things are a little different. And seeing the, the, the different areas, like for instance, uh, uh, Robbie, turning him to turning the other cheek is something for his character to grow. Right. Because he's always used to not turning the other cheek. Right. And then seeing Miguel, who obviously turned the other cheek for years, being bullied and picked on and being outcast, now it's time for him to strike first. It's it's dope, man. It's it's it makes that's my connection with it. It just really inspires me. You know what I mean? I could see myself being a kid watching this, yo. And I really taking I something from this. I never knew how much I loved these characters growing up. Yeah. Thirty years later, bro. Facts. I remember, bro, I tell you, we all did it. We all did it. 30 years later, watching this show and having feelings where it's like, wow, these characters are dope, man. I love That's this rare. show. Like. I'll say um, with uh, Robbie and Miguel, man, you're seeing the potential of two of the best people trained by Johnny and uh, Daniel. And it's going to be an interesting conversation because what path and what direction are each gonna go down? Are they gonna stay in their same lane or are they gonna be opposites? Like where Robbie is now, is Miguel gonna be in that place and is Robbie gonna be where he's at? Because they're from different sides. But like you said, both of their masters, their senseis, feel like they can become great friends. They're the same people, but they do things differently. And I feel the same about Robbie and Miguel as well. They're kind of the younger versions of them, of Johnny and uh, Daniel. And I feel like you're gonna see more of that progression of them because Cobra Kai brought something out of him, and Miyagi does bring something out of him. And on top of that, he gave him that father figure intentions that he never had. He gave him a job, and he gave him a home to stay in. Mm -hmm. He gave him the whole extra package. Miguel learned how to fight. He had a best friend. He had somebody to go to. He was his counselor. Johnny was everything to him. But now it's like, okay, they're going into the real world, outside distractions, that that pollution, that that poison that mm, you know yeah, comes yeah, with the real yeah, world. Yeah. What's gonna happen with those skills? Is it gonna like backstab them? It's gonna be bittersweet. You know what I'm saying? That's the beauty of it, and this yeah. is where I see it going. Someone like Samantha, right? Yeah. Beautiful, smart, gorgeous, uh, sexy, all that. Uh, she has the thing about her is she uh, her character to Miguel. That's how he sees her, right? Facts. Yeah. Because right now he. When he first saw her, she was just the, the beautiful, sexy girl in school. Right. And then now, when he got a chance to know her, he learned the other side of her. Right. She she is Miguel's Miguel's balance. Number one is his grandmother. 
His grandmother and his yeah, mama. Yeah, That's sure. his balance. Yeah. He was raised in a good home. Yep. So he knows morality. He doesn't know the same treatment that Johnny got. The dad not there, stepdad, men coming in and out of your household, different lives. He doesn't know that life. Yeah. So to learn the strategy of Johnny, this only makes Miguel stronger. Because now he has the ability to use the best of both worlds. Right. Now you have this one. For Robbie, men coming in outside your house, mom drunk, falling over, titties hanging out, booty cheek draws, seeing every goddamn thing he can see. Yeah. Now he's going into a family of a man who takes care of his house, right. has a business, showing that there is a better life. Now Robbie has the choice to choose the best of both. He, 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 he's able to use the best of both worlds. And we saw the first act. Yeah, he could have gave him the information. Could have. Stabbed him in the back. Yeah. For some punks. Yeah, he could have. But he used his mind. He was smarter than that. Right. He actually, quite frankly, he has a goal of his own. To get back his daddy. And he can't allow obstacles like Chris Brown, Westbrook, Fusion, to get involved <laughs> in, in, in smoked out Casey Jones. Man. You can't. So... He's now he's in the same he's in the same situation as Miguel. Right. Now and this here's other you got Samantha. Mm -hmm. She has the loving family, all that. She doesn't know what it's like to be with the lesser fortune. Quote right. Unquote. Right. Right. Now she's with Miguel. Right. She realized that this guy's better than these kids with money. He values me. Right. Facts. Not the money. Yeah. This is someone that I I can love. Yeah. Vice versa. Robbie's the same freaking way. Yep. So you got two boys who are exactly the same, but take different approaches. Just like Johnny, just like Daniel. Just like Daniel. And then on top of that, Robbie's fighting to protect. Miguel's fighting to defend. It's crazy. Yeah, man. It's a, it's a crazy thing. It's vice versa. Out. Yeah. They have Johnny, different reasons Johnny was for why fighting to doing... attack. Yeah. Daniel was fighting to defend. Yeah. Brilliant writing, bro. Yeah, all and it, around. And his kids, these kids, and you know what, what makes it even beautiful, makes it even sweeter. All this came from the Asian community. Yeah. They were able to take something that was very dear to them, and they were still able to spread that to other cultures, man. Yeah, universal. Make it universal. You got a Latino doing this now. Everybody understands. You got it. a white kid. Yeah. I don't know what Daniel is. Is he Italian or something? He's one of them, man. He's he, one of yeah, them. you know what I mean? And and you're chiseling the information down and all these people are getting this this information. Yeah, it Mr. brought Miyagi's people together, like, essentially. Yeah. And gave them the skills, the confidence. You brought a culture Great. together. Cultures. This you know, is crazy. This is what I'm talking about. Excellent writing, man. This is what makes it emotional, man. Yeah. I'm sitting there watching this like, yo. Feeling it, yeah, man. Thank you again, brother. This, so, this is the, this is the therapy. This is the therapy you need, man. Cause yeah. I, I was giving up on TV. I ain't lying, man. I was giving up on. I'm like, they and just ain't getting. Why do you give it. up on TV? There's no messages. There's no characters to root for. It. It's just all just, just reality now. Instead of going back to the simple drama, simple life lessons. Yeah, you man. need to see things that's relatable and unrelatable, and something to root for. You like I feel like I, at this point in my life right now, watching this show, that. I feel like if anybody was to die on this show, I would be devastated. I would too. I'm like, oh my god! Especially if they show how it happened. You know, I like to see full detail. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Treadmill, a, a tractor, run them over something. You know what I mean? Engine to the head, like on a Final Destination. Man, <laughs> freak accidents. You know what I'm saying? But <sighs> what a great show, man! This is this is what I'm talking about. This. You're is, welcome, guys. You're man, welcome. It's getting to a point, yo. I need that Cobra Kai gear. Like I need to come with full I, I need I need official Blu-ray merch. I need this physical copy. I need season one and two. I need that gear, bro. I need that too. Like I, I'm gonna uh, go go on the website immediately after we finish doing these reactions of season. Oh yeah, season we got one. more. We're gonna we knock this guys. out tonight. Yeah. We're knocking it out, y'all. It's like it's like twelve o'clock at night right now. Tight. <laughs> All right, y'all. Going in. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. We kept that one hundred. All the time. I am dropping my guard moving forward in this series. I'm not holding back. I'm dropping it, man. Drop, I'm basically dropping draws. I'm <laughs> dropping them, bro, because strike this, first. This, 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 this show has proven itself worthy of my emotions. 
That's tight. Because a lot of shows, I, I don't like giving my emotions out, and then it ends up... And it's not worth it. Like, oh, man, damn. Wasted. Yeah, yeah. I wasted. I, I wasted, got you. I wasted a tear on you. You know what That's I mean? not the case here. You know what I mean? I, I don't like wasting tears. Like, you know what I mean? This is like Pokemon first movie. When I cry, you better break out that stone. You know what I mean? Shout to Mewtwo. But, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's it's not even necessarily crying, just the, the, the feel for these characters, man. It's just deep. Natural emotion. It's real emotion. It's earned. You never yeah. know how much you love somebody till they're gone. Shout out to Mr. Miyagi because Those are facts. I didn't know how much he meant to me in my life. Because I'm sitting here watching this and they're playing this fool's music yeah. and it's touching me. Yes. Because I know he's not coming back. But what he left behind. It was just so deep. And what, yeah. So deep. And Johnny's son, Robbie, is learning everything that he didn't get a chance to learn. Johnny wanted a Mr. Miyagi to teach him. He did. He wanted a Mr. Miyagi. He, he, he was happy when he helped him at the end of part two. He was like, man. <laughs> at that end. On the opposite side. And he was like, thank you. They all were. They Chris all was about were. to kill him. For no reason. What the heck? Bullying That's the kids. That's your teacher. Bro. Like bullying the, the kids, yeah. bro. Yeah. Cause they didn't do something illegal. After they did it, but he just got beat. Yeah. I heard something uh during that uh that uh the annual meeting about the uh the tournament, the all valley thing, they said Terry Silver and uh, Mike Barnes. Mike Barnes was one of the younger students from Karate Kid Part Three with the bowl cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might be making a return, it seems. And then Terry Silver was the guy that was cool with John Kreese. They were boys. They were soldiers. That's in part three, though. Part three, yeah. And I think what happened is he got into the business side of things. And I think he's going to take the money that he inherited and build a whole bunch of Cobra Kai's around the city. I think they're going to link up again. Mm. That might happen. Because we haven't seen him in part three. And that actor's still around, too. Uh, Thomas Ian Griffin. So that would be some tight fan service. And he was a good villain, too. Say what you want about the movie, but Terry Silver was a he was a he was a menacing threat, and him and Crease were boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna leave that in the air, but yeah. And they see, so, and he said Crease is dead, man. So I want to see how that plays out. And this kind of series, you don't just name drop people like that for nothing. They might be coming back. I'll leave it at this that. guy, man. Yeah. I should have watched it before him. Ugh. You're killing me, bro. You're yeah. killing me, Larry. I just you know that information though is right there. I, I, another another thing I like, man, was the whole Sam and Miguel connection, man. Uh, it was so pure, so innocent, so cute, man. Oh yeah. And she was really feeling him, man. And it was she, genuine. They was having a good time. They wasn't on their phones. They was playing golf, playing arcades, and getting tickets. Do you know she had more fun with Miguel than she had with uh, uh Kyler? Kyle. Oh yeah, Kyle. Like the whole time with him was more of trying to get at her, getting her draws. And for sure, he was there for the season. Yeah, Club. and and, and it always got his friends around and, and whack stuff. But when she hung out with Miguel, man, it was personal. It was per it was. I want to get to know you. I want to be your friend. And I think this is this is a great lesson for kids and young uh young the young art younger audience members, man. All major facts. You know, drop them phones sometime, yo. It ain't that serious. You can really find out about a person real quick, man, hanging with them, man. And I'm glad they were able to show that because he was going to do something totally sideways. But guess what Johnny say? Man, take her to the place I used to take my girls at, bro. Yeah. Let me have some, have some fun. And come to find out, she loved this place. Yep. Yeah. She loved this place, man. And the stuff that he was getting into, she was already in that world. So when she revealed it, that was even a major plus for him. Because he's like, oh, we got something to talk about now. I don't have to put on a facade or try to you know introduce her she was already there so now we we link on that level and we link on this and we link on that mm -hmm. so it was just her letting her know like I, i'm i'm on this too i, yeah. I know what's up yeah do you want to you want me to show you yeah. and when that did that was like the epic turn on because for him he was not expecting that yeah when she flipped him over it was hot that was tight mm -hmm. that defense <laughs> i wish a girl did that to me man go back in time that'd be tight bro that would be tight Whoa! oh, oh. Triple. Damn! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Defense. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Uh, we kept that 100. This show is phenomenal. I can't can't stress that enough. Next episode, next episode. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe button, thumbs up this video, and don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm J3. Running Joe Genji, Cyborgpedia. We out. Oh.